preparing the foil pack, cut the top off. We're going to be uh, continuing to glue a root that's already had some resin in it, so we've got a mixer nozzle that's already uh, got mixed resin in it. So before we get to that stage though, we need to prepare the foil pack. The foil pack sits inside the cartridge holder. need to take the red cap off the end and that sits inside the gun itself press the release catch down at the back to pull the plungers out and that whole cartridge sits inside the gun like that now there are blades inside here which actually cut the foil packs themselves but um, that ends up putting quite a bit of force on the actual outside of the foil pack this is one that we've just finished using and it has a tendency to actually split the foil pack so what we've been doing is just getting a clean sharp stick and just poking the actual foil pack inside and, and penetrating it so it's actually ruptured before you actually screw the mixer nozzle on and you can see it's two separate colours and when they mix the uh, shade changes. So once you've done that, we need to keep things tidy. We use the um, off foil pack bag and you want to pump the gun a few times to make sure that both parts of the resin system are coming out. So you should be able to see there's the red and now there's the slightly sort of greyish colour and they're both coming out at the same time. This just ensures that we know both parts of the system are, are being discharged from the foil pack. So once you've done that, at that stage you'd normally, if this is the first time you've used the pack, um, you'd then screw a mixer nozzle on, remembering what we said earlier about depending on the type of anchor you may need to use the extension tube. This is quite long for most um, bolts that fit in a 12mm hole, so we tend to just cut these in half and use a shortened one. Once you've screwed the nozzle on, you need to actually fill the, the mixer nozzle with resin. And then, after having filled the, the mixer nozzle, you need to then pump a minimum of three trigger pulls worth of resin into your bag. The reason for that is to ensure that the resin has actually mixed properly. If however, you've already been using a cartridge like we have, we've finished one cartridge and we're now going to continue gluing. You can continue, provided the resin hasn't cooked off in here, you can continue to just use the same mixer nozzle. That just screws on like that. Again, just to make sure that that's flowing, as you can see there. And that resin's already mixed. It's really a bit difficult, but you may actually see there's a slight difference, discoloration in the actual material. Once that's ready, just take the pressure off the back to stop the glue from flowing. And then you're ready to start bolting. First thing you want to do is just uh, get a rag. Notice I'm wearing gloves. Just use washing up gloves. Found they're good enough. Uh, this sort of resin really is horrible stuff if it, as if it gets all over your um, clothes and gear. So we'll just give the end of the nozzle a quick wipe. Get any surface dirt, tweaks, etc. off it. I also like to just pump a little bit of glue through just to make sure there's no contaminated glue on the tip of the nozzle going into the back of the hole. So you can see that's nice and clean. So the nozzle's clean. Take the pressure off the back of the, the foil cartridge, which is inside the cartridge holder. So just release that. Take the ring out. And really the objective here is to make sure that we don't get any uh, air pockets inside the hole, that's really quite crucial because that will affect the strength of the anchor. Essentially it will be compromised. You'll find you'll need to use an extension nozzle on the end, um, an extension tube on the end of the nozzle. 
Uh, it's simply because the, the hole's too tight and you can't guarantee you can get the mixer nozzle to the to right to the back of the hole. So here we go, insert the nozzle right to the back, you can tell it's at the back of the hole, pull it back, cut a few mil, a few millimetres, and I start to uh, crank down on the, the glue dispenser. So ever so slowly, start to crank it. After a few pulls, I can sort of feel the, the resin, the thick, thickness of it at the end of the mixer. S start bringing it out. See, it's a little bit on the nozzle there. Not a problem if I need to, I can just pull it out, wipe it, and put it back in. If you need to do this for any reason, you need to make sure that the tip of the nozzle is actually in the glue. Doesn't need to go right to the back of the hole. Some manufacturers um, for guidelines for installing the anchors say, you know, you only need to fill the hole to say two thirds depth or 80%. That's fine and, and to an extent that's uh, dependent on your sort of skill level and experience. I tried, I prefer to overfill the holes for the simple reason that you can always clean excess resin away if you, if you haven't put sufficient resin into the hole, you end up having to pull the bolt out, inject extra resin to make sure that there aren't any air, traf air bubbles entrained, uh, and it just gets a bit messy. Uh, remember, we've got a, bo a beveled slot here as well. That needs to accommodate some resin as well to make sure that when the bolt of the anchor goes in, sufficient glue around the side of the anchor as well. So you notice there's slots cut into the actual anchor as well. As well, these these are to improve the mechanical advantage, the holding power of the anchor. So when we introduce the the anchor into the hole, we need to twist it. To fix a it's sort of minimum sort of three to four turns, and it's really to ensure that the anchor is sufficiently coated with glue, especially these little uh, grooves. Sort of part way in. You notice this, you know, the resin isn't quite sort of backing up here. At this sort of point, I like to just put my finger in, sort of smear it, get it coated. Do the same down at the bottom. Sometimes I find it useful to just put my finger there. That volume or void space of the notch is full, so I keep my finger over that and it forces the glue to go to places where it, it isn't already present. Remembering the welded end of the bolt or anchor needs to be facing upright. And then final little push to seater. Smear the excess resin round so it's just nice and full. This is where the rag comes in handy now. We don't want to leave it like that, it's messy. Now whilst this gap in here is sufficiently large to accommodate a carabiner, it's a bit awkward sometimes to get your finger in there to smooth the resin off. So either use a spatula, the tube, the tubing, the extension tubing, or a bit of wire, any sort of implement like that is useful to get to the resin sort of right in the back there if it's not quite evenly spread. You want to end up so that the anchor wants its Finally installed, the glue's nice and evenly spread over the, the head, and that's it. And then depending on the manufacturer's recommendations, it's a number of hours before you can load it.